got to give you to a hospital. No, no, you're a doctor. Just, just stitch me up. It's more complicated than that. We need the to check for The cops will be waiting for me at the hospital. They're going to bust me back inside just for being with felons. You stay here, they bust me. I can't go back, Remy. Neither can I. God forbid you die. I'm up for manslaughter. I'll find someone else. You leave, you bleed out. You're going to die. Stop. You won't take me to the hospital. I promise. Bell's intact. Fury Vina Keva's fine. His liver got nicked. It feels clotted off. Any other signs of internal bleeding? So I'm okay? Define okay. Just because I don't see bleeding doesn't mean it's not there. I'm a five over palp. I'm gonna check your pressure every two minutes. If you dip below 90, it means it is there and we have a problem. There was a raid. Andre needed to do something to slow the cops down. He stabbed you as a distraction? It didn't work. Cops called an ambulance, left me lying there. Oh, come on. Give me crap. I know what I told you about him, but it's not his fault I started using again. It's mine. What? According to this, you're dead. You have no blood pressure. You barely have a pulse. Am I dying? You're talking and alert, so your brain is getting blood. Pulsing your right arm is fine. So is your BP. Hello. Are you busy? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm about to go out. Great. Uh, can you do me a huge favor? I need you to go to the hospital and check out a portable ultrasound machine for me. Who's the father? I have a leak in my bathroom. My guy won't come take a look at it till tomorrow morning, and an emergency plumber is 200 bucks an hour. One portable ultrasound, extra pepperoni. Thank you so much. I might be late tomorrow. Your socks are dry. Now, unfortunately, so is your shirt, which means you either just change to greet me or you need this for something medical. I am a doctor. She's my friend. I was in prison. You killed your own brother? Yes, it was awful and devastating, but it wasn't murder. He was sick and he wanted to die and I promised I would help. Now please stop pacing and help me find this thing. Have you talked to anybody about it? I mean, are you okay? No, I may have an aortic arch aneurysm. Oh, wait, that's her. Either help me or leave. I'm having trouble getting a clear look. Try a long axis view from the suprasternal notch. Wait, put on some gloves. She's got hep C. Wonderful. Take you two as cellmates. Just friends. She saved me. There's a culture in prison. If you don't have someone to show you how to get the stuff you need, Stay away from the stuff you don't. You're screwed. My fingers are turning blue. Can you move those? My arm's starting to go numb. Arch of the art is clear. This can't be an aneurysm. Maybe the wound through a clot to axillary arteries. Stop. Right there. Five centimeter gooey mass. Not a clot. Maybe a lipoma? Oh, what the hell is that? Fat filled sac, probably aggravated by the stab wound. You got any syringes in here? Give me that. I was stabbed in my gut, not in my arm. You lost a lot of blood, gave the lipoma room to swell. It's compressing the arteries in your arm, blocking your blood flow. Maybe we can suck some of it out. You'll be fine. A little pinch. Mm. That's not a lipoma.
Try moving your fingers again. Good. Means it's almost drained. <sighs> Not good enough. We don't know if it's gonna come back. We don't even know what it is. Drugs, viruses, toxins from that crack house, and God knows where else she's been. If this were caused by the drugs, she'd have kidney failure, cardiac involvement. What about a hep C? Could have fried her liver, loses its synthetic function. Mm. Then her entire body would be swelling, not just her arm. This is with toxins. Where exactly were you when you were attacked? You're not doing a home search in a crack den. That's insane. Apparently, we don't have much of a choice. It's a crime scene. And it's not toxins or viruses or anything else you mentioned because it's not a coincidence. Her symptoms have to be related to the stabbing. What if her body used up all the clotting factors dealing with the stab wound? Explains the bloody mass. But if you're right, she could start bleeding anywhere, like in her brain or in her heart. Well, one of those things could start going in my brain. It's time to get you to the hospital. I don't know. Remy, you promised. All we'll do with the hospital is stick her in a patient bed and give her IV clotting factor. We could do that right here. We could also embalm her right here. I'll call the drugs and you go pick them up. If I'm right, she'll be fine. Look, I know you don't know her and you don't care about her, but I do. Lie down, uh, elevate your shoulder. Uh, mm. You said Andre wasn't responsible for the drugs. What is? I don't know. Yes, you do. What happened to you? If you don't deal with the real problem, you're just... because you were a doctor. Not a shrink. Please don't, please, please put the gun down. Put it down on the ground and get away. Dave. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dave, what is it? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. She hallucinated. I need you to go back out. I just called in more clotting factors. So she's bleeding in her brain now. We double up the dose, she'll be fine. No. We bring her to the hospital, we do a CT scan to locate the bleed, drill a burr hole in her skull, and maybe she'll be fine. We can drill a burr hole here. You're not just risking our careers here. You could go back to prison. I made a promise. You made a promise? I will not take her to the hospital. Great. Then I will. No. I'm going to move you. And I'm going to pick your friend up, carry her down to my car, take her to the hospital, and try to save her life. She's staying here. Move. Move! Go to the hospital. I'll let her head more. Don't bother. The cops are going to be waiting at the front door. I'll go in first. Find a patient on life support just waiting to die. We use that name in all your tests. No one will ever know you there. Thanks. Darian. <laughs> Stop screaming, my head hurts. I need you to stay away and talk to me. About what? When you were screaming in my room, what did you think you saw? 
He said, put it down on the ground and get away. Sounds like a cop. Old habits, I guess. You were a cop? Back when I was a decent person. How do I not know this? You knew everything. It's not a good resume when you're trying to survive in prison. So who are you talking to in my bedroom? Why did you keep apologizing? Because I'm sorry. For what? I killed a kid. He was 19. I went in first. I saw him going for his gun. I tried to talk him down, but... <laughs> they told me I was a hero. So that's when you started using drugs? I'm sorry. Darian. Darian. She lost consciousness. <laughs>